Hello everyone, it is the Prophet Michael David, aka Aries. I hope everyone is having a good day, May 10th, 2023. Okay, as you can see from the title of this video, we're going to talk about how the Jewish Messiah, the Mashiach Ben David, who I claim to be, cannot be Jewish. Okay, I'm going to kind of bury the lead here, but this is like the most controversial point in all of Judaism. This is like way bigger than the whole Jesus thing, at least to Jewish people. Okay, to start with, we're going to separate this into, or this argument into three distinctive groups of people. The Hebrews, the Jews, and the Lost Tribes, specifically the Ten Lost Tribes. Okay, so first, who are the Hebrews? The Hebrews are a very old family that started with a man called Abram, who later became Abraham, and Sarai, which later became Sarah. They're in the Bible. It's in Genesis. This Hebrew family was continued through a man named Isaac and a woman named Rebecca, and then finally to a man named Jacob. Jacob, who was later named the first Israel, uh, had 13 children from four different women, 12 sons and one daughter. When Jacob, a.k.a. Israel, was close to dying, he blessed all 12 of his sons, and all 12 of his sons became the patriarchs of the 12 tribes of Israel. Those are the Hebrews. One of those sons was named Judah, and that man is the ancestor of all Jewish people. All Jewish people are derived from the tribe of Judah. So you may be asking yourself, if all Jewish people descend from only the tribe of Judah, what happened to the other 11 tribes? We'll get to that. But first, we have to talk about Jacob's individual blessings to his sons, because they are the crux of this conflict in Judaism that really the rabbis don't talk about that much, at least not in a bad light. I don't or won't usually directly quote the Bible and or the Torah. It's the same in this case because it's Genesis. Most of the time I'll just tell stories or interpretations of the passages. But in this case, it is a necessity. In chapter 49 of Genesis in the Bible, aka the Torah in this case, Jacob blesses Judah with the following blessing. In the same exact chapter, Jacob blesses Joseph and his descendants with the following blessings. Okay, so now I'm going to read Jacob's blessing to Judah in three different Bibles. My Bible, my mom's Bible, and my dad's Bible as they all have slightly different translations, I think. Judah, your brothers will praise you. Your hand will be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's sons will bow down to you. You are a lion's club, Judah. You return from the prey, my son. Like a lion, he crouches and lies down. Like a lioness, who dares rouse him? The scepter will not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until he to whom it belongs shall come, and the obedience of the nations shall be his. He will tether his donkey to a vine, his colt to the choicest branch. He will wash his garments in wine, his robes in the blood of grapes. His eyes will be darker than wine, his teeth whiter than milk. All right, now I'm going to quote from my father's Bible, although I'm only going to quote the part of the passage that you know I'm interested in, the kingship stuff. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until he comes to whom it belongs, and to him shall be the obedience of the peoples. Okay, uh, lastly, in my mom's Bible, I'm going to do the same thing. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until he comes to whom it belongs, and to him shall be the obedience of the peoples. Okay, I just realized by doing this that the uh, screenshot that I posted and my newer Bible, the translation is slightly different at the end, but the rest of it is exactly the same, including the word that I emphasize over and over. 
until. Okay, I mean, everybody knows what until means. I mean, everyone thinks they know what it means, but I mean, where does it come from? What's the word origin? Until is a combination of two words, und from Old Norse, until from Middle English. Und means end, I'm pretty sure. Until means until. So until is basically a combination of two words that mean until, it's redundant. Okay, the cut and paste didn't go real well, so I'm just gonna read it to you. Until a particular time means during the period before that time. Example, I waited until it got dark. If something happens until a time, it happens before that time and then stops at that time. That's what until means. And since I didn't like specifically detail it earlier, that passage in Genesis that I just read, the Judah one, he with the scepter and the rod between his feet, that is the Jewish Messiah. That is the Mashiach. So in conclusion, at least on the Judah blessing, that one word until means the Mashiach cannot be from the tribe of Judah. He can be from any of the other tribes. He can be Christian. He can be Muslim. He can be pagan. He can be an atheist, but he can't be from the tribe of Judah. And then a couple paragraphs later, Jacob gives his blessing to Joseph, gives him the best blessings, and calls him a prince amongst his brothers. And that, the dispute between kingship, between the tribe of Judah and the tribe of Joseph, is the greatest conflict in Judaism and has been for the last 4,000 years. Okay, so now a quick timeline from those blessings, which was over 4,000 years ago until the Hebrews became the Jews and, uh, and into modern day. Okay, firstly, those blessings were given in Egypt because shortly before that, uh, the Hebrews, that family, had moved to Egypt where they were basically indentured servants and then later generations became slaves. The Hebrews grew in size from 70 people to 600,000 as they were enslaved for 430 years to the day, according to the Bible, until Moses, commanded by God, led them out of Egypt during the Exodus. They were poor, wandering, nomadic Hebrews, as the Bible states, aka Israelites, for 40 years after that. Roughly 500 years later, uh, King David, that King David, uh, found the very first spot for the eventual first temple, but it wasn't the temple at the time. Uh, it was just where they put the ark and they established the first tabernacle around it. Tabernacle meaning tent. David's son Solomon eventually, who was also king, eventually built the first Jewish temple around that tabernacle in that spot. And that was the first Jewish temple. Even after a thousand years since the Hebrews went into Egypt and were eventually enslaved, uh, David and Solomon were roughly a thousand years later, even after a thousand years, all the tribes were still together in a unified kingdom. Thus, they were still Hebrews. This all changed in the year roughly 930 BCE when Solomon died and a dispute between the tribe of Judah and the tribe of Joseph. Actually, it was the tribes of Manasseh and Ephraim. They were his two sons, the only grandsons of Jacob that got their own individual blessings uh, in the Bible. Uh, it's chapter 48 in Genesis. And because they could not resolve this dispute that had lasted for a thousand years, the family broke up. Ten of the tribes, including the tribes of Manasseh and Ephraim, which were together the tribe of Joseph, moved to the north and established the kingdom of Israel. While in the south, the uh, tribes of Judah, Benjamin, whom I call Benani, and the tribe of the Levites stayed in the kingdom of Judah. And at that point, the Hebrews were no more. All right, finally to the lost tribes, because I'm running out of time. Okay, 
A few hundred years after the kingdoms of Israel and Judah were established, the Assyrians attacked the kingdom of Israel and conquered it and drug off the 10 tribes back to Assyria where they were never heard from or seen again. Those 10 tribes, including the tribes of Ephraim and Manasseh, which again to, together make the tribe of Joseph, are known as the 10 lost tribes. The kingdom of Judah, which consisted of the tribes of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, fought off the Syrians and, you know, stayed conquest, but only for a while. A couple hundred years later, it wasn't the Assyrians, but it was the Babylonians, which came to conquer the kingdom of Judah, which they did. And they drug all three tribes off to Babylon and uh, destroyed the first temple. And the uh, rest of the story about the Jews, uh, including the building of the second temple, the destruction, the Holocaust, went pretty much exactly as you've ever read if you know anything about Jewish history. So in conclusion, how has God resolved the over 4,000-year-old conflict between the tribe of Judah and the tribe of Joseph? Easy. She created a Mashiach who is the genetic descendant of King David, but who is also the reincarnation of Yosef, eldest son of Rachel, patriarch of the tribe of Yosef. Okay, and final conclusion to anybody that's watching this video. Until you can prove to me that the original ancient Hebrew text that had the blessing of Judah did not include the word until. It actually included a word that meant exactly the opposite of until. There's no way that the Mashiach can be Jewish. He can be anything but Jewish, but not Jewish. Live with it.